Hi guys, this is Rob from Sonic State. Uh, today we're taking a look at the Wampla Velvet Fuzz, which I've been really excited to get my hands on. Jason from Wampla has been kind enough to send us. So the signal path is a USA Fender Strat, quantum leads into a Wampla Velvet Fuzz, into an AC booster from Exotic Effects, Polytune, just for tuner's sake. Another quantum lead down into the Orange Rocker 30. Volume, fuzz, and brightness. Fairly self-explanatory. Volume, more volume, less volume. Fuzz, more or less fuzz. Brightness, more or less brightness. The brightness dial on it isn't particularly sensitive, so from all the way off, it's obviously very muddy. In fact, it sounds like this. And then all the way on. So that's in the fat mode, or the big mode. And then in the tight mode, and then less fuzz. And the same again in tight mode. much less gain this time. Right the way, and at about three o'clock you start getting some really nice like distortion-esque sounds rather than just some fuzz. So what this pedal does really well is it not only emulates a great fuzz, well not emulates a very fuzz pedal, it is a great fuzz pedal, but it emulates an amp also kind of at full tilt, so you get that really saturated sound. If you want to do that even more, you can't really do this with most fuzz pedals, but you can run it into another pedal. So if I run the Velvet Fuzz, let's say let's take the gain or the fuzz to about one o'clock, maybe two, brightness at two o'clock, and we get... <laughs> with an AC booster. So you get, obviously the AC booster is adding quite a lot of mid to it. My big mode. Okay, so as you can hear, it sounds completely different with a pedal in front of it, as you would expect it to, but not only does it add balls if you add something else after it, but it's got plenty of them on its own. Um, if we run the tight mode and back the fuzz back off a little bit, the brightness dial I find, I quite like it, especially on a neck pickup on a Strat, the brightness right the way up, and it doesn't do what most pedals do. If you put the brightness too high on a lot of pedals, it sounds really tinny and really painful to listen to, but on the neck pickup of a Strat, it doesn't sound tinny at all, it doesn't go into that fizzly sound. It... Bit more I just had, you kind of, you play with this thing and you keep playing with it and you keep playing with it and you keep playing with it and then an hour's gone and you've gone, oh, just lost an hour. Oh well, I could have spent it worse. <laughs> So on the neck pickup, still with brightness on full, it doesn't sound particularly harsh. Bridge pickup, it starts to sound a little bit too bright maybe. Actually still no. But it probably should be fair to point out that the amp sounds quite bright because I've got the high boosted, so it's...
now we'll see what it sounds like with a humbucker because I know that everybody that watches these things always complains that I never use humbuckers, so we'll try that out. Okay, so that's humbuckers through a modern player tally, not the standard humbucker that comes in, it's an Orville humbucker. I really like it with humbuckers actually. Obviously it's got more bite to it than a single coil. Please bear in mind that this is a very cheap guitar. This costs about 400 pounds new or 200 quid if you get them second hand. So, and the pickup isn't exactly the most incredible thing in the world, so it's a real testimony to how good this Velvet Fuzz does sound. When you can... What you get for 200 pounds is a Wampler Fuzz pedal, which is great quality, it's got great tone, and it's more refined than your kind of standard big muff, massive, over the top, can't quite find that sweet spot without spending hours on it. This, you can turn it on, fiddle the dials with it wherever you want, and you're gonna get a tone that you like. It is possible, obviously, to get a tone you don't like, but it's only got three dials and one switch, it's not gonna be difficult to find something you do like. I really can't, say enough about it in terms of the build quality, it's it's Wampler, it's always going to be great. The only thing I don't like is that the brightness dial doesn't really go far enough up for me, especially if you're using single coils and as I say on, a, on the neck pickup, doesn't quite have that brightness that you'd sometimes maybe want, but that can be fixed later on in your signal chain if you've got other pedals. If you want a standalone fuzz pedal that can work as an overdrive, the Wampler Velvet Fuzz is definitely the one to go for. Cheers for watching and we'll see you next time.